Santa's sleigh is on its way to South Carolina, a Christmas adventure. Written by Eric James and illustrated by Robert Dunn. The moon over Broad Street gives off a cool glow. The stars twinkle like there's a secret they know. The evening sky is especially bright. Hey Santa, hey Santa, please visit tonight. The wind chimes in Greenville, swinging the warm breeze. The north wind blows gently through Beaufort's tall trees. In Florence, sweet carols are heard on the air. The magic of Christmas is felt everywhere. The Christmas trees twinkle. The eggnog smells sweet. The stockings are out for the gifts, not your feet. The garlands and paper chains hang from the ceiling and give the whole household that Christmassy feeling. Excited young children with heads full of wishes leave large Christmas cookies and carrots on dishes. They scurry upstairs, for they've heard it is said that Santa comes once you're asleep in your bed. In Rock Hill, the yawns become stronger and stronger. The children of Malden can't stay up much longer. From Five Forks to Sumter, and Hilton Head too, they're soon sleeping soundly, all children but you. You stand at your window and gaze at the sky with hopes that you'll see Santa's sleigh whizzing by. You almost nod off, but see movement ahead. A flurry of white and some flashes of red. You jump up and down and the shape becomes clear. Hey Santa, hey Santa, my home's over here. But something is wrong. There are sparks everywhere. The sleigh twists and turns as it swoops through the air. You're wide awake now. You've had such a fright. There's no chance of sleep till you know he's all right. You think about Santa, his reindeer and sleigh. Hey Santa, hey Santa, I hope you're okay. Yes, Santa is fine. He's in Hampton Park, replacing the fuse for his sleigh in the dark. He tugs on the reins, shouting, up, up, away and hits the ignition, which starts up his sleigh. With magical speed only Santa possesses, he visits well over a thousand addresses. From Fort Mill to Charleston, delivering toys, he visits each home without making a noise. Now Santa has been to all houses but one. He can't go back home till the last house is done. It's your house, of course, but you're still wide awake. He circles above as he takes a small break. And that's when you see him. You know he's all right. Your head hits the pillow. You're out like a light. He lands on the roof to the sound of your snores. It's Santa. It's Santa. He's coming indoors. But Arg, you wake up and you jump to your feet. You're sure you forgot to leave Santa a treat. Will Santa leave presents for someone so rude? You must go downstairs and make sure he has food. You enter the kitchen and turn on the light, not spotting the figure who ducks out of sight. You're still half asleep, so you don't find it weird that the broom has a hat and a coat and a beard. You get out the cookies, still rubbing your eyes too blurry to make out his clever disguise. You open the fridge door, but don't spot the broom as it sweeps past you into the family room. With a plank in your hands, you head off to the tree. You're feeling so sleepy you don't even see a sight that would have your heart skipping a beat. The curtains have sprouted. Two Santa-sized feet. Still sleepy, you head back to bed with a smile. The panic is over. It's all been worthwhile. You climb up the staircase, not once looking back, as a chuckling Santa takes toys from his sack. Ho, ho, ho. Now Santa is leaving. His sleigh races high. It sparkles and fizzles and lights up the sky. 
The Columbia streetlights grow dim in the night. Hey Santa, hey Santa, please have a safe flight. Soon Santa leaves South Carolina behind, where children are lovely and grown-ups are kind. And then he booms loudly, his voice full of cheer. Ho, 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 South Carolina. See you next year.